This is a screencast for the Grosse Point Public School System's online enrollment process. You can begin at gpschools.org backslash enrollment, or if beginning on our homepage, gpschools.org, scroll down and click on the Enroll tab. Once on the enrollment page, please take a minute to review the pre-enrollment checklist before you begin. You can find the pre-enrollment checklist here or here. The pre-enrollment checklist will provide you with a list of all of the information and documents that you will need available before beginning online enrollment. Please take some time to review. Once you have reviewed the pre-enrollment checklist, click here to begin online enrollment. Once on the Enrollment Portal homepage, you'll need to start a new enrollment by clicking here. Enter your email address and choose a password that you will use as you complete the online enrollment process. The first step in online enrollment will be to enter your household information. Please complete all necessary fields. Fields in yellow are required. Once complete, click Submit at the top of the page. Once you've submitted your household information, the remaining steps will appear on the left-hand side of your screen. Click here to add your first student. You'll repeat this step if you have multiple students to enroll. Enter all required information for each student before moving on to the next step for primary contacts. After you have submitted your student or students information, they will populate on the left-hand side under the Students tab. Next, move on to Primary Contacts. Each student is required to have two primary contacts. Please enter the information for the first primary contact, click Submit, and then Add again to add a second primary contact. Be sure to click Lives with Student for the primary contact or contacts who live in the same residence as the student. After you have submitted two primary contacts for your students, they will populate on the left-hand side of the screen under primary contacts. Next, move along to emergency contacts and click add. Here you will add your emergency contact information, click submit when complete, and then move on to documentation. After submitting your student's emergency contact information, it will populate on the left-hand side of the screen under Emergency Contacts. Next, move on to Documentation. Click Add to begin. The information on this page was included in the pre-enrollment checklist that we reviewed at the beginning of the screencast. Before you begin the uploading process, please verify that you have electronic copies of all the necessary documents. These uploads can be scanned from your computer or phone or pictures taken with your phone. No screenshots, please. If you are taking pictures of documents with your phone, please make sure there are no shadows or glare and that they are clear and legible. Once you have clear scans or pictures of all necessary documents, you are ready to begin the uploading process. When you are ready to begin uploading your documents, you will choose document type, choose the file from your computer or phone, and then use the drop down to choose whether that file applies to the household or to one student only. Your students will populate in this drop down so that you can choose. Click Submit, and the file will now appear on the left hand side of your screen under Documentation. You must complete this step for each piece of documentation that is required. To add the next piece of documentation, click Add on the left-hand side of your screen, and you can begin the process again. Click Submit. 
and continue this process until you have completed all documentation. After you have uploaded all necessary documentation for your student or students, verify that each piece appears under documentation on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you have confirmed, move on to final steps where you will submit your completed enrollment by clicking this button at the top of the page. After submitting your completed enrollment, you will receive this message and the Enrollment and Residency Office will contact you if they need any further information. Once the Residency and Enrollment Office has reviewed and verified all of your documentation and information, you will receive a communication letting you know that your student or students are officially enrolled in the Gross Point Public Schools. Thank you for watching our screencast of the new online enrollment system for the Gross Point Public Schools. Please contact verify at gpschools.org if you have any questions.